Hello guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Now in this video, we will see a very simple example of scheduling tasks in Android using the Alarm Manager class. Now when you need to use the Alarm Manager class, imagine a scenario where you have a task and that should be executed every day at a specific time. Now time can be given by the user. So in this case, you have to use the alarm manager class to schedule your tasks. But you want to schedule your task in any other case. Imagine a scene when you want to execute something when your phone is on charge or the network connection is on or any other thing other than the specific time constraint. Then in this case, you have to use the job scheduler. But in this video, we are going to see the alarm manager class and in the next video, we will see about the job scheduler. So let's see how we can schedule tasks using alarm manager in Android. So the first thing we will do is we will build our UI. And here you can see I have an empty project. So I created this project with the name alarm manager demo. And we have a main activity here as I selected the empty activity and we have a layout file called activity underscore main dot XML. Now for the sake of simplicity, I will remove this constraint layout and I will change it to relative layout. That's it. And I will remove the hello world as well. Now here we will create two things. As we need to get the time input so I will create here a time picker so let's create a time picker inside this linear layout and define the orientation as vertical and I will make it to the center of the screen so center vertical is true now I will create a time picker here so we have a time picker set and a button so user will select the time from the time picker and will press this button to set the alarm so button is match parent wrap content id would be button set alarm and text set alarm so this is our ui a very simple ui you can see it here we have a time picker and we have a button where we need to click to set the alarm. Now what I will do is I will create a broadcast receiver to receive the alarm action. So let's create a new class. So I will create a new Java class and I will name it my alarm. You can name it anything. So the name actually doesn't matter but we need to extend broadcast receiver to this class as we are creating a broadcast receiver. So right extends broadcast receiver. Now if we are extending broadcast receiver, then we need to implement a method called on receive. So what I did here, I just pressed alt enter and then selected implement methods and selected this on receive and click OK. So this is our broadcast receiver. Now this method will be executed whenever our alarm is fired. So here I will play the default ringtone of the device and you can actually do anything here that you want to be scheduled as your task. So right now for the example, I will play the default ringtone. So for this, I will use media player. So I'll write media player. Let's say media player equals to and then again media player dot create. Now the first parameter here is the context. So we can use this context. So right here context and then settings. Here we need the URI of the default ringtone. So we have a predefined constant for it in Android, which is settings dot system dot default oops uh, settings. dot uh, not this one let's write settings dot system yeah this one 
so settings dot system dot default ringtone uri that's it it will give us the default ringtone uri now we will write media player dot star to make it visible i will hit enter here that's it so we are getting the ringtone and we are playing the ringtone so it will play our ringtone at once and it will be stopped so if you want you can play it on loop or you can do anything you want here in this on the scene method and this is actually our task that is going to be scheduled now i will we will set the alarm inside main activity but first we also need to define this broadcast receiver into the manifest so inside the manifest just before the closing application tag i will define my receiver and my receiver is my alarm and we also need to define a couple of attributes here and the first one is enabled so we make we need to make it enabled and enabled means the broadcast receiver can be instantiated by the system and i will use here one more property which is exported now i will make the exported as true and it means that our receiver can receive the broadcast from the from the other applications as well so we have defined the receiver here now come back to main activity here first we will define a time picker so i will write time picker time picker that's it now we will add a click listener to our button so just simply right here find view by id then r dot id dot button set alarm and then dot set on click listener and here we can pass an anonymous inner class that's it so we have the click listener in our button now here first we will use a calendar object this is because when we want to set the alarm using alarm manager it takes the specified time in the millis so we need we need to get the time in milliseconds and time picker cannot give us the time in millisecond and that's why we need to use a calendar object here so first i will create a calendar so we have calendar and remember you should use this java.util package for calendar so we have calendar then the object name calendar equals to calendar dot get instance now here we will set the values to the calendar so for the date we will use the current date so we will write calendar dot set and here we will pass first the year so we will write calendar dot uh, get and we will get the year so we have the year then calendar dot get and then month then calendar dot get day of month so we have year month and day of month then we will get the time from the time picker so we will pass time picker dot get hour that's it then time picker dot get minute and for the second we will use zero you can use other values as well but for second i'm using here zero this is because we don't want user to set the second value as well so he can set only the minute hour and the minute so you see we are getting an error this is because call requires api level 23 so to resolve this we can put an if condition here so if android dot os dot build dot version and dot sdk end if it is greater than or equals to 23 we will do this thing and else 
we will do something else so just copy it and in case of get hour write get current hour you see the method is deprecated but we have to use this method and get current minute and zero so that's it now we have the calendar and from this calendar we can get the time in millis now here we will call a method set alarm and we will pass calendar dot get time in millis that's it now let's create this method so just press alt enter and create a method inside main activity that's it so we have our method now inside this method we will set our alarm so we will create a alarm manager object let's say alarm manager equals to alarm manager get service get system service and context dot alarm service so we have our alarm manager now we will create an intent so we will create an intent intent equals to new intent the first parameter is the current context and the next parameter is our broadcast receiver class so we will write here my alarm dot class that's it now we will create a pending intent so i hope you already know what is a pending intent so we will create a pending intent dot get broadcast again the first parameter is this the second parameter is request code so you can pass actually any value here the other param parameter is the intent and again you can pass an end if you want to get the detail of this method just press control and click on this method and you will see what are the parameters this method is taken so this is flags now come back to main activity and here we will set the alarm so we will set the alarm manager as repeating so it will be repeated every day so the first parameter is type uh, so here i am using alarm manager dot rtc now we have two options here you can see rtc and rtc underscore waker now the difference between these two is if we are using rtc and if our device in sleep mode our alarm will not be fired so if you want your scheduled task to be fired whether your device is sleeping or not you can use this rtc waker so it depends on your requirement that what option you use so right now i'm using rtc now the next parameter is the time the specified time when we need to fire the alarm so we have the time and time in millis so we'll pass time in millis the next parameter is uh, the interval when we need to repeat the alarm so in this case i'm i i want my alarm to be repeated every day so here we can pass alarm manager dot interval underscore day and then the last parameter is our pending intent that's it oops it is pending intent so this is our alarm manager and our alarm is set now we can simply display a toast that alarm is set that's it now we can try running our application so let's run it so this is our application now i will set a alarm oops we are getting an error so let's see what it is so you can see we have a null pointer exception at time picker and this is because i just forget to initialize our time picker 
so let's initialize it time picker equals to time picker find view by id that's it now it should work so let's test again so let's set an alarm so our alarm is set now let's wait and see the alarm is fired or not and yes you can see the alarm is playing now i don't know how long it is actually we are not playing it on loop so for now let's close our application now the alarm is fired but in this this time our app was running now let's try firing the alarm when our application is not running so let's run it again now let's set an alarm and close the application now let's wait and yes you can see our application was not running but alarm is fired at the given time so this is how we can schedule let me mute it so this is how we can schedule tasks in android using the alarm manager class and here actually you can do anything you can upload a file to the server you can download a file and you can actually perform any task so that's it for the video guys if you found this video helpful please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and you can follow me on facebook you can follow me on twitter and you can follow me on google and also please this is a request that please share this video and if you're having any confusions queries feedbacks or suggestion feel free to leave your comments and i will reply you for sure and that's it uh, we will meet in the next video bye bye